Ian, it's Joe Matthew. This morning's reporting at G0 suggests Vladimir Putin has much bigger plans to the point that you're now making. We're hearing reports of shelling in, in, in areas along the coast in the south that are still controlled by Kyiv. They're actually hearing uh, concussions in the, in the capital city. How far does this go? Does Vladimir Putin want to, to control all of Ukraine? Yes, uh, I think it's clear. Uh, now, it is true that uh, the Russian government has said that they don't want to occupy Ukraine, but they also said they didn't want to invade Ukraine for the last four weeks. Yeah. They lie. Um, there's nothing diplomatically that should be believed about the Russian position right now. Uh, you do not set 200,000 troops up and amass that kind of firepower and then use it against a sovereign Ukrainian nation whose only sin is to want to exist independently, whose only sin is democracy and the right to uh, vote for their own government. You don't deploy that kind of force and risk yeah. not just tens of thousands of Ukrainian lives, which will be lost, but also Russian soldiers who will come home to Russia in caskets. Um, you don't do that unless you intend to overthrow this government. Uh, this is, for the foreseeable future, the end of an independent Ukraine. You mentioned Moldova. Is that the key to entering from the West? Ian, you point out they've already come in from three directions that would complete uh, the surrounding of Ukraine. Uh, the Russians already have troops based in Transnistria. It's like the other breakaway republics, enclaves, mm -hmm. like we saw the fight in Georgia back in 2008. You remember Abkhazia, Ossetia. Um, it's, you know, like Crimea in Ukraine, which had a Russian base on the ground, Sevastopol, even before 2014. That's what we're talking about here. How long do you think it will take uh, for Vladimir Putin to get those 200,000 troops then throughout the entire country of Ukraine? If that's the goal, he says he doesn't want to occupy the country, Ian, but how long would it take him to take it over? Um, you know, I would say I'm, I'm not a military expert at all, but we certainly have them um, on payroll at Eurasia Group, and I would yeah. say between one and four weeks. Uh, but uh, again, uh, if you're not trying to have to maximize Russian casualties here and you don't care about Ukrainian civilian deaths, uh, then you talk much more about massive uh, firepower from the air. Uh, to degrade Ukrainian military capabilities to the greatest capacity, as well as cyber attacks. Uh, and then perhaps you do that well before um, you're throwing large numbers of troops on the ground. Keep in mind, I mean, the Ukrainians do have uh, Javelin anti-tank systems. They're very effective against Russian tanks when they're stopped. Um, that's going to lead to a lot of casualties. How much do they want um, to, uh, to, to, you know, to, to basically uh, destroy the morale and the will of the Ukrainian soldiers, fighting forces, um, before uh, they, they, they bring troops in. That's an open question right now.